finally got my licence. I'm 54 years of age and I'm this year and I'm finally got it. Before I used to sit at home, you know, because I only had a bite. Pouring down rain, you can't move anywhere. Now I can get in the car and go when it's raining. Going in the car yard and say, I'll have that car. Get in the car and driving out. I'm only a short lad, but it made me feel like I was six foot. Meeting Glenn was great. He's quite an amusing guy, and he's one of those people that love to talk and break down silos between each other. I was a bit nervous, a little nervous, you know, like getting in with another stranger. Like I used to bail up, but when we started having a good yarn together, it was right then and clicked off. And he was like a brother, he was. His skill was quite good when he was driving. It was more of a confidence thing, but also having confidence within himself to say, yes, I know how to do this. He just didn't believe in himself. And so all I had to do was hold a mirror up and he could see that he could drive safely. But I thought I was going to take a couple of goes out to get me peas, but I got them first hit. So the Learner Driver program started uh, six years ago in the Shoalhaven and was really driven by the local Aboriginal community. And being a regional area, it's almost impossible to gain employment or um, you know, further your education without access to a driver's licence. And we were really pleased to partner with NRMA four years ago and NRMA are a great partner in terms of uh, the wealth of experience that they can bring and also the expertise they have within their driving schools. It's made me happy, it's changed my life around now. I can get up and go when I want to go now. So, Plus with me auntie, she's 93 now. She likes to go out to the cemetery, go and see my mum and all that, and my brother and that out there, and told me she's real proud of me, of getting my licence and getting a car and that. So, and all my family is now, so that's it. They never thought I would, but I did.